Hi, I'm Bill Gidzak, and uh, I do woodworking as a little bit of a hobby, or something to amuse myself with, and luckily sometimes when, when people want it, sell some stuff. Over the last few years, I've been trying to make a cribbage board, right? and I've tried multiple different ways to do this. I've done the paper template, you know, drilling where the holes are, uh, trying to take the temper, take paper template, putting it on the wood, punching, using a punch to punch where the drill should go, and then drilling it. And I've had lousy luck on it here. No matter what I try, maybe I'm using the wrong wood. Uh, I might be doing something wrong here. Uh, I've never been able to make a cribbage board or modify a cribbage board or you know whatever. Uh, for those people who can do it the way I described here or have other methods that work for them, congratulations. My hat is off to you. I bow to you here. You're, you're a much better cribbage board maker than, than I was or maybe I will ever be here. However, in order for me to try to make some cribbage boards here, I decided to create some templates that will help me make a board that is easy to create and I could create any size, any type from two players all the way up to four players. What I did is I created these three by five or three by six basically, you know, approximately. Some of them are a little bit less, some a little bit wider here, but basically six inch wide acrylic templates. Now there's four of them and you'll notice that when you look at one template, it's, it's got a a tight curve on here. Here is my straightaway template here. Here is my wide curve template. And then I created a quarter curve or half a curve or whatever you want to call this template here. And so that I could use to maybe make a curve that doesn't fit the norm, you know, of a full degree or 90 degree or, or whatever it is. Um, all the templates have a starting row that you can use to, you know, pin from holes that you already made, and then the curvature holes here. They're made with 3 16 inch plastic here. The holes are basically two drills, two drill concepts. There is a larger hole or a larger drill into the plastic which basically is a quarter inch wide approximately and goes down for one or two millimeters. Then in the center of it, you can probably see just a little bit there with the reflections, uh, is an eighth inch all the way through it. Now, normally what I do is when I use these templates here, I use a drill bit, like a hinge bit. You know, the one I use is Ryobi, where it comes down, it aligns with the larger opening and then the drill bit continues on through the 16th, I mean, to the eighth inch inside. So in other words, I can create, I've used this to create any type of a cribbage board that I want for anywhere from two to four players. And I use the same template for it. I don't have to get different templates or anything else. What I'm going to do is, in, as throughout this video, I'm gonna use three or four different video captures here and basically show you how this works. And then at the end, I'll give you an address or I'll give you a link that those of you guys who are interested and want to try this out and see if it works for them here, be my guest, great. Okay, so I'm just gonna stop this and I'm gonna pick it up in a few seconds or a little bit of time here using a second camera and basically show you roughly how this thing all works. Okay, I'm back. I'm inside my office area in the house and everything else, my messy desk. So what I'm going to show you is how basically these work. Now, a lot of the times what will happen is when I'm going to do something, like, like create a board or anything else, I like to test it out to see what happens. I just give a basic idea. Before I start drilling holes on a piece of wood, I want to get an idea of how this is going to fit on. Now, I'm from Manitoba. So I thought, why not take a piece of wood, this is basically from the crotch of a um, poplar tree here. Um, I chose this because of the fact that when I've cut it down, it basically almost looks like the province of Manitoba here. But, and it's kind of hard to tell in this video and so forth, but it's got some nice lines, it's got some nice grain, you know, 
um, effects and so forth. I, I thought it was a nice piece of wood, and it would look really good as, or at least I hope it will look really good as a cribbage board here. Now, basically it's live edge, and it's about an inch and a half to two inches thick, but you know, this is where I'm going to do it. So since I only have one piece of wood like this, I don't want to ruin it by starting off from scratch. You know, if I've been doing this for a long time here and everything else, and you've been doing this, you can say, okay, I know where to start. But let's 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 go with the concept that I'm a beginner here. All right. So uh, I have a camera that's mounted pointing down here. Granted, it's not the world's greatest camera, but it'll give you basic ideas here. And then what I did is I just took a pen and I just did a quick rough idea of how this thing is going to go. Now, there's multiple things, ways you can do this here. Like to draw this on the template, because I didn't want to do this as, as, as a brand new template here. You could start off with just basically using a pencil to, 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 to stick in the holes, like for example here. All right, here's my template, and I'm just going to stick it off to the side. And I can just basically, when I just stick my pen in there and just rotate it here, I've got a little bit of a mark. Now, you may not see it because of the way the lights are, but it's there. It gives me an idea. I'll zoom on these later on. You can try a pen, a felt pen, whichever one works for you. So generically, let me explain what I want to do here. I want to start the template. So it starts over here. It goes across the bottom. It does a curve. It goes up the side. Now, whether it's a straight or a diagonal. Then when it gets to the top, I want it to curve inwards, run down, and hopefully end in that direction. So in other words, basically it goes across the bottom, over the side, down, and then do a little curve, and here, all right? And it'll end over here. So hopefully here, someplace, will be the end piece here. Now, this is, again, all right, so that's generically how I want to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to very simply start. Now, because this is a start right here, I'm just going to take this template here, and I'm going to start it off approximately here, all right? It, it, again, it's, it's a start. So in other words, you know how I was at the beginning of a cribbage board, they always have maybe two or three. I'm going to do this as a three-person cribbage board, all right? So I chose three dots here and then again usually there's you know three dots so all I'm doing is I'm just filling in these little circles here all right so technically there's my dots you know you may not see them let me just zoom the camera down here and hopefully there you are there's my three dots so that's going to be my start and then I'm going to continue on so from there I line these three dots that I just created up here okay? now whether I use these outside three or these inside three, it doesn't really matter, okay? As long as I keep remembering where I am, right? Because these are always the same, they sound familiar. So then I'm going to do my first set of five, okay? Well, guys, I'm not going to do all five right now here for you. But basically, this is this is my first set of five. So here's my first set of five that's going to go into this, this scenario here. Now, I have a choice. What do I do now? Because I've already created this first set of three here, I can go and do either here and do another curve. Now, I'm just going to pull out another template here and show you that if I do this and I go here, it's not going to, it's going to go outside. So I'm not going to add another set of five. I'm just going to build off these five. Now, again, now I'm going to use the inside of my curves. I line these these three start these points. This is my, my starting section here, which is at the end of the next box. And then I'm going to do the next three. Okay. Now you'll notice I also colored in these ones here. It, you didn't need to, but I just did them anyways, because that's the start of the next batch here. So when I use this, and again, I'm using my three, now, it doesn't matter whether you use the inside or outside three, you know, however you want to work it. So here's my second set of five. Okay. Now, at this point in time, if I want to put something a little bit different, I can take my straight edge and just keep running it all the way down. Okay. Now, 
Let me just show you something also that also that before I go any further here, you'll notice where I did my start over here. And I'm writing in the word start. You can't see it because it's upside down to you here. I could have moved this over and started it closer here. All right. So it, it, it's again, that's why I do this on the, on the, if I don't like it, I just erase all this and start again. But let me just continue now. I'm going to take three holes, these three. All right. And I'm going to line it up. But instead of lining it up perfectly, I'm just going to do a little bit of a tilt. All right. So it's not like 90 degrees. And then I'm going to start. There's a set of three. Then I'm going to do another set of three by five. Okay. So basically, here's one. Here's the next one. And I keep going with just lining these things up here. All right. So there's another set of five, and there's another set of five. And basically, there's five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and you get the idea of where I'm going. So I just continue on with this. Now, I'm just going to take this up a little bit more with the camera here, and I'm going to continue on because I know I'm going to be doing a curve right away here afterwards here. There's my, my setting. The one that I had, I use that as my start because, again, I use the last set as where to line everything up. There's my 35 number. And then now I have to make a decision. Either here I could use one of these wide curves and I could put it down. And you'll notice it'll just fit all the way across the top here. And it gives me a very wide berth. Okay. Or I could use a very narrow tightness. It's your choice. You can do whatever you want. All right. In this situation, I've decided I'm not going to use this one here. I'm going to use the narrow one. So again, I line up my three holes. And of course, when I do the, the, the curves and stuff, I do it on the inside. So there's one, two, three, four, number five, and then outside to the third one. Okay, so that's five. So I know it goes like this, like this, like this. And again, this is my, my rough copy. And of course, now I'm going to start my straightaway here. That's number 40 for me. So you can see as I'm going here, I'm going to be creating all these things here. Now, granted, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue on with this stuff here. I'm going to edit the tape and then we'll show you some other stuff like later on here. But in the meantime, there's another set of three rows. For a three person, then I continue on. There's another set of five jumps. I don't even know what to call them there. Here. All right, so there's five, and there is five. And that's 45. That's number 50. And again, I can line these up, continue on. See, I'm using my straight edge here, my, my straight run. Okay, 55, and there's my 60. Now, I just have to continue on. Now, with this one here, this is an interesting, because of the size of the board here, I have a lot of space in here. So I'm going to do another tight curve right here. Okay, so I'm just going to line it up. And again, this is, if even if it's a little off here, that's, that's not that earth shattering here. You're going to be able to, you know, when you're drilling here, this is just to give you the idea. So there's there, there's there, there's the curve, there's the curve, there's number 65. Now, at this point in time, I'm going to start going up here again. And then I could do another curve and go down and end over here, right? I was hoping to end it up here, but I see as I'm doing this, I'm changing things, ideas around here. That's not a big problem. So again... There's another set of five for three people. There's another set of five for three people. And guys, I'm only drawing this out like this because just so you can see how I'm doing the, using the template to create this. 
and I'm going to take this here. Now, again, I'm looking at this concept and saying, what do I got? So if I go like here, I have this type. If I move this up, I'm going to run out of room. So I only have room for here. Eighty. And then again, I do this one, two, three, four, five, one, there, there. Okay, 85. And then I'm just going to take this down here and then eventually do a curve up. And maybe I can do something a little fancy on the side here. So let's just see here. So I'm at 85. Again, I'm going to line this up here again. Here's five there, okay? That's number 90. Again, this is just a piece of cardboard that I just got here. And now I decide, what am I going to do? Because let's look at this. I'm using the same template here, right? And when I do line this up here, this gives me this. If I go down, and again, guys, just so you understand, if I go down to here, this is a rough one. And then I try to do here, I'm going to, it, I'll just catch the corners right here at the edge. Okay? Now, if I tilt this a little bit, there's my, my three there, right? And if I leave this as a center point, and I just do a little tilt here. One, two, three, four. Okay? There's my 95. Now, I'm just going to basically give you this word. Of, see, now, I know what I'm going to do now here. I'm still going to use my tight curve here, but I'm using on the inside. There's my lineup for these three holes. Okay. So there's there. There's the curve. There's this. That's five because it's five there. There's my 100. Okay. And then... I'm going to take my 100. Oops, start down here again. There's my 105. And again, I'm going to continue on here. I, this is tape over here, so it doesn't do this here. There's my 110. Okay. Now, I have... I can do, I'm going to go one more up here, 110, all right? But instead of doing it like this, I'm going to tilt this. And again, I'm going to use my center point as I start. So this will be just a little bit of a funny curve here. 110. One fifteen, And now... What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, this half curve thing here. I'm going to line this up, right? And again, because you'll notice that I'm cutting close to my here, I'm going to take this and I'm going to line up this point where it is here, where the corner one here is, right? And I'm going to do this. I am going to go and I'm going to tilt this till I feel, till I, this one here. So I'm going to go here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now that's only three here. Whoops. And my pencil lead just broke. So you notice I got a funny curve here. Now granted, I could have tilted just by looking at this, I could tilt this this way here a little bit, but that's it. There's my one. I have to change to a pen here. Sorry. My lead bit. 120. And then all I need, right, is this, my 121. Or I could take my 15 that I didn't have, didn't the curve here, see how the curve is? I may have just even taken it, you know what, there's my 15, I could have went like this. Kept it going straight to my 120, and there's my 121. All right? So you, like, you have multiple ways to do this, right? Now, after doing this, I can sit back here and say, all right, you know what? I should have taken all this 
I moved it up a little bit. No problem. Because I did it on my template, what I need to do. So I know when I line it up with the wood, I probably only need, you know, maybe only three quarters of an inch from that direction here. Okay? Uh, this top part down here seems to me to be well balanced. I can live with that here. All right? But then again, if I want something a little bit more or available, I have some flexibility here. So, people, this is basically the start of using these four templates. And you can create the, your board any way you want. Now that's the end of this part of the video. The next portion is basically, guys, I'm gonna take you downstairs to the drill press and show you how it all works. Oh, I'm back again here. I just realized I just made a mistake in the earlier video when I was doing this. When we did the first curve here, when I did the curve with the template here, we only basically used three movements of it here. So when I get, let me just grab my template here, or sorry, wrong template. Let me get the right template. So when we started off here, right, and then I did the curve, and I said one, two, three, one, two, three. So there's part of my template that that's only three. Then what I would do is I would then take one of the templates which has the the two more and build off of this one here. So go one, two, one, two. So there would be another little part here. So in other words, that part of three, which would make technically be 118, all right, plus the two more which would make it the 120, and then put the end piece 121 right over there, as compared to the one going over here. So for those of you guys who saw the video and says, wait a minute, he made a big mistake. Yes, I did. I apologize for it here. It's just that in my movement of things, this is what I, 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 I screwed up with here. But you still see the availability. Now, in all reality, when I look at this after the fact, I would basically sit down and say, oh, well, then I could do this and just move everything over, as I said a little earlier. So, like, like again, there was only three quarters of an inch here. Again, this video is not the world's greatest here. I actually light on because it's getting dark. Um, by the way, one thing that you can notice here, that I did this for three, I sometimes think to myself that, wait a minute, you know what? If I do some moving around and some, some other things, I could technically make this a four-person cribbage board. The next video you're going to see is where I'm going to be really drilling out all the holes and showing you how it really does work here.